Hello guys and welcome back to the FTB Infinity Light C series. Uh, why are you angry? Um, so the farm is working quite well, um, but as we uh, ex as expected, we had we have no tools left because the steel pickaxe isn't really that durable over time. So we need something much more durable. So we'll take care of that very soon. And uh, we are also starting, I don't know if we have time to finish, but I will try. Um, I just expanded this, so I'm not even done yet. We are in need of a better tool. So this hammer is, well, it's okay. I mean, for breaking uh, netherrack, but for doing more re real digging, it's not really that impressive. Uh, and instead of making a new hammer in uh, Tinker's Construct, I'm actually going to do a drill from Immersive Engineering. I've been through all these in previous tutorials, so perhaps you know about them already, but I've never built one in a, in a series. So this is the one, mining drill. Uh, we need a lot of steel stuff and we need a drill head. I will go for a steel directly and, uh, and then some add-ons. So this will be really fun. Uh, the only negative part is that I can't break dirt and stone at the same time uh, because it, as this hammer does, it will break in a, in a three three but three times three radius but it will not break all the dirt and stone at the same time so but i still want to do it and i think i'll do it right in here yeah i moved this oven oven <laughs> oven what's that oven from that corner into this corner and i just added the hopper over here and a hopper and a chest down here so i'll get constantly charcoal and this drum is full. I don't know how much we will need, but uh, yeah, we'll need some at least. All right, so let's get started with the uh, with the farming. Uh, we need something that is very unbreakable, and to make that, we'll need lots of obsidian. I thought I had more. Let's make some more. All right, and then we need reinforcement, this one. Uh, we need obsidian and a cast. And if I remember, I think we can use a blank cast. Uh, let's try it. Yes, we could, could do that indeed. So I think we need four or five of these, uh, and aluminum brass. Finally we're getting used for that. <laughs> Alright, and then for the tool we'll use paper, because that will give us some reinforced, some room to place our reinforcements. That's what I wanted to say. So let's see, we need a, an axe head pattern. Uh, let's see, paper axe head. And we can use this all the way through. And then the final part is shovel, right? Mattock, yes. And with that, we can make this one. We have uh, lots of modifiers and this paper one will be, <laughs> well, let's see, uh, reinforce each level adds 20% chance we need five. So one, four and we need one more. Yeah, we have one too many. 
that's not a problem. Something like this. So take a look down here, 20%. And that means 40, 60, 80 and 100. This is unbreakable now. So we are, should be able to put it into, hmm, into this and we have space. So let's try it. This will be very fun. Unbreakable. <laughs> A paper mattock can do that. Really fun. Okay, great. We will also make a small modifier to that farming station. Now when we have a mattock, we can do both crops and wood. And as you can see, I found some rubber trees. We'll use them. I don't think we'll use them in this episode, but probably the next one. Yeah, right, we need potatoes. So give me everything here. I even think 34, well, I'll take a few more. We will have more than we can handle in no time anyway, so. Because I will grow potatoes as well as wood in that one, and the mattock can handle both of them. So, now when this is working, we can continue with the build in the other room. Well, let's see, we just want to lock these in place. Yeah, like that. And we'll take these ones like this and now they are locked. So now if we just remove these All oh, right, we need water. Or I think we need water because that makes sense. Okay, great. So this means that we'll get potatoes in no time and uh, that will come in really handy. I'll place some barrels here later. Uh, I don't think I'll show it on cam, but there will be barrels here. Because that chest is soon very full. All right, and now to this build, we'll need the potatoes for that later. Uh, let me get a lot of material and I'll be right back. And finally, I think we have everything we need. All right. Four, eight. Might need some more of that, but we'll take it later. And then Electrum is gold and silver. You should know that from several mods before. And that will give us the final heavy engineering blocks that we need. As I said, might need some more. I'll probably bring some iron with me. All right, let's build. And that's our first item for today, or first machine, I would say. Squeezer, um, we need power, of course, to run this. I have some power over there. Instead of messing with this, let's just build the next one.
and that's the fermenter perfect also need some power and then we can hook that up by the way fermenter skull it means cheers this is swedish <laughs> all right last one And that's the final part. So now we just need to hook these up. Um, this is the output. And that's an input. And then uh, let's see. Oh, this was a... Should have built this the other way around, I think. Oh well. It's not that expensive. Okay, these are hooked up. Now we only need power. Wonderful. I'll try to arrange that. And we are filling up with power. And there's some witch around here, I can hear it. So power, 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 sweet. So in here, this is the squeezer. Then we need to squeeze some seeds here. And <laughs> we are pretty low on power because over here we want to squeeze, not squeeze, we want to ferment potatoes or sugar canes. This would give us, all oh right, it will end up in here directly. Plant oil from the seeds and ethanol from potatoes or sugar canes, finally we'll get biodiesel. And this is stuff we want to the drill. 196, oh this is emptying. <laughs> oh, we need power soon, but that's okay. So let's see, uh, we need, probably need some more planks. Because for the engineer's workbench, we'll need a few. I don't know how many, but probably not this many. But let's make some so we have. Engineer's workbench. And that's the bench done and place it here. We'll need that later as well. So now we can actually start crafting the tool itself. I have a mosquito here. And that's everything we need to get started. I will try to upgrade it as soon as we can. Um, let's see, I just want to see that it works, first of all. And this is the way you've attached the drill head. And now you can see it's working. Uh, we can probably break things, but we have no fuel, so it's not working as it should. We add fuel by dumping it into the refinery and now it's full with two buckets of fuel you can see down in the right corner and the speed is quite good but as you can see it's not breaking the stone even though so a, a little annoying but i think we can live with that I'm not using too much fuel but we can make it we can improve things, uh, let's see here.
and with the second plant oil bucket we can make the advanced lubrication system it will increase the all oh, right i get the buckets back thank you so let's see mining drill we'll want we want the lubrication system to make it faster and we want the large tank to get a four bucket tank instead of a two bucket attack damage I don't want attack damage. I have a nice sword. I think the mining drill from Industrial Craft can break dirt and stone at the same time, but I don't remember how to do it if you do need to do anything specific. Perfect. And once we get some more potatoes, I will get a lot and more of biodiesel. Um, I don't know if we can get ethanol from something else that we have plenty of. But I think... Mm, let's, let's check. Sugar canes, melon, apples. Apples, I think we have quite a few. And then we'll have the the plant oil in the squeezer seeds, seeds, industrial hemp seeds. I think we have lots of that. Yeah, I think the entire uh, barrel outside is filled with these. So uh, they, they will finally come in, in use. Seeds there, and apples here. Biodiesel here. All right, wonderful. I can, and what do I want the drill for? Well, I need a good way to distribute cables and power, and I'll do that below the base. I'll have an ugly basement that will only be for cabling. It will not be decorative. I will not have machines down there. It's only for getting the wires there in a better way than this. Even though this looks good, I'll try to have some kind of main feed down there and then I will come up in a room and then distribute it further. We'll see how it looks once it's done. It will not be in this episode. <laughs> I'll see you next one. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye bye.